Hi, I'm Jess Hartshorn and I'm an assistant professor of forest health at Clemson University and I'm standing here with this ash tree. You can tell that it's an ash tree because of the compound leaves that have multiple leaflets on each leaf. And specifically with ash, those leaves are opposite each other. We're standing next to this ash because it's infested with a new invasive in South Carolina, emerald ash borer. One of the main ways that you can tell the ash is stressed is by the presence of what are called epicormic branches. And these are branches coming off of any place along the bark that's not a main branch. The final stage of seeing symptoms of emerald ash borer infestation are these S-shaped galleries that appear underneath the bark. This is because female emerald ash borers, which were introduced from Asia and discovered around 2002 in Michigan, lay eggs along the cracks and crevices of ash bark once the eggs hatch, larvae tunnel underneath the bark and feed on cambium in the wood. As they grow bigger, their galleries also grow bigger until they finally reach the point about a year or two later where they emerge through these D-shaped exit holes. The D-shaped exit holes are another important characteristic when identifying an emerald ash borer infestation. It can take several years for an emerald ash borer infestation to finally kill a tree. And so if you find an infestation in the early stages, there are a lot of chemical options for you to treat your trees and slow their decline. Unfortunately, if you find an infestation in the later stages, the only option is to mechanically fell or girdle your tree and remove it from the population. Most states have emerald ash borer and many of those states have quarantines. A quarantine means that you're not allowed to move infested wood from one place to another if that other place is outside of the quarantine area. You should be familiar with your state's regulations before cutting up your wood and taking it somewhere else to burn as firewood. Best practice is to burn it where you buy it or where you fell it. If you're in a situation where you do need to cut down ash trees, you should talk with a consulting forester or your local extension agent about what to replant in its place.